It's time for the Giz Wiz with Mads Maddest Rider, Dick D. Bartolo. This is episode 1750, recorded Wednesday, October 23rd, 2019. In the pink! On this episode of the Giz Wiz, we have a new product from Anchor. And steel case, I have a Alibaba gadget that will stick to your soul. And we have a letter that answers a burning question that we had. All next on The Giz It's the same old show with Dickie D. And OMG chat on your PC. It's time for the Gizwiz because gadgets are his business. They've got a gizmo sickness, geek disease. Under pathology. Rows and rows of USBs. Growing blue and LEDs. Get ready for the Gizwiz now. Now! Now! And here he is, the ringleader of gadgets. Unfortunately, we only have two and a half rings. We're not a three ring <laughs> circus yet. We broke one. One of those rings. Here he is, Dickie D. How are you doing, Dickie D? I'm doing fine, sir. And you? Doing good myself. I'm a little more Excellent. pink than I was last week. Yeah, what is that? You are in the pink. I really <laughs> in the pink. <laughs> so I, this is one of my personal streams that I was, I do. And last week I may even mentioned that um, I was doing a 24-hour stream. So at, yes, during that, yes. we hit a donation goal to re-dye my hair from red to pink. So... It's looking, it, it shows up in the product shot a lot pinker. Um, wow. I, all these cameras are not quite um, calibrated. Wow. Do, you, do you have any fear that when you're 50, you're going to have no hair? <laughs> Maybe. Yeah, I've thought about it. Uh, <laughs> the good news is, is that I, when I bleach my hair, I am not hitting the roots, which means that there's no chemicals on my skin or near my follicles. I mean, they're near them, but uh, they, How do you, you can... Ha- how can you do that? Oh, just, I see that. Yeah, you just don't get close. And I like it because I think it it's like a little bit dynamic. The hair kind of looks like there's more going on there. Um, but because I never, like, you can see that. Oh, it's I like see shadow. that. It's like a, it's like a, it's more mysterious that way. Um, but I, I never have put, um, I have a little bit, but at the moment I don't put bleach directly onto my scalp, which means that. Hopefully I'm being nicer in my hair follicles than if I was bleaching right there at the root. So, Oh, uh, but it's hard. Isn't that hard to do? A little bit. You got to be a little bit more touchy and, and uh, careful with where you're applying your um, bleach, your peroxide wow. and stuff. Uh, but the stuff that I use is a kind of like a thin paste. It's like a really, really thin toothpaste, basically. And so once you stick it on your hair, it'll kind of stay where you put it. So I oh, okay. brush it on, fold over my hair so I can get it some more and then brush that on and, and move on. And it's f- fairly simple for me to do all alone and and uh, keeps keeps my roots safe. So, so now you're going to have that for the next charity. You're going to a charity yes. event tomorrow. leaving tomorrow. Yes, so we're recording this on a Wednesday because on Thursday I'm waking up at 7 a.m. getting on a flight and headed to Chicago where we're going to be doing a 48-hour charity marathon. You can think of it like a telethon, except upgraded for the internet age. So people can donate live, they'll be in the chat room, they can change what we do. Whenever they donate, a lot of things that we have, um, you can use your money almost as points to affect what happens on the stream. So one of my favorite things that we do is a thing called Sliced, where it's kind of like a chopped knockoff where people are trying to cook and you can use the money that you donated to give to contestants and then they get to use those points or money, fake money at that point, uh, to bet on certain things that'll help them during the competition. Uh, Or like we've auctioned off um, uh, ornaments, Christmas ornaments. We've done things like we do a game type in Minecraft where you can buy like upgrades or punishments for people in game. So iron is really useful in the game. And if you have a lot of iron, you can make armor with it. And so for a $25 donation, you may be able to give your favorite player a piece of iron so that they can win in the game a little bit better. They have a little bit of an edge over all the other players. So we use 
technology in a really cool way to wow. drive donations and let people who have donated get a really cool benefit from donating and affect the stream and see their streamers either be elated with that donation and that maybe that in-game item or be devastated by the fact that like so we have some <laughs> things that are punishments too so some some of our punishments are like you have to put your feet in ice water for 60 seconds wow this pvp you know intense you know thing and the esports game is going on you know someone's coming around with a bucket of water and going okay put your feet in and you're like don't bother me i'm in the middle of a virtual fight and it's like sorry you got to do it somebody donated oh my gosh so we do all sorts of fun stuff uh over oh those my god. 48 hours yeah oh my god yep 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 there was, well. there was a tornado in dallas did you hear about that I did. People were oh, yeah. asking, was it anywhere near you? It or was that, was that another uh, thing that it, you had for your... I don't want to say Give me $80 away. and I will make a tornado appear <laughs> yeah. in Dallas. I don't want to say how far away it was from me because that kind of yeah. gives away my location. But it oh, was okay. uh, too close for comfort. Very too close for comfort, wow. uh, I will say. Um, I am... Me, all my pets, all my property, completely fine, hundred percent fine. Um, but there are there's areas very close to me, I guess I'll say, that are uh, very affected. I mean, it's oh insane. Oh my gosh! It's insane. you didn't get in your hiding place or anything. I did. <laughs> oh my gosh! I, I, did. I, I will say this: I was able to get a photo of the tornado from my house right before I got into my storm shelter. Um, I don't have an actual storm shelter in my home, but from my home, I was able to pull out my phone and take a photo of the tornadoes. There was apparently nine tornadoes, by the way, according to the National Weather Sur Service. And I don't know how they classify them. I, I think if it like lifts off the ground for a moment, it's a new tornado. Yeah. But um, yeah, it was, it was, it was real bad. So, I was I was monitoring the weather uh, pretty extensively. I just happened to kind of walk outside just to see, like, you know, how bad is it right now? It says it's supposed <laughs> to be really bad. There's a tornado right there. Oh and my gosh! I got all the, so in my house. I have um, a stairway up to the second floor. Yeah. And that is my storm shelter because there's so much wood um, needed to make that stairway all the way up. It's in the middle of the house. There's no windows. There's nothing like that. Um, that stairway also happens to be on the other side of my kitchen. So there's water pipes and stuff in the walls. So it's a very secure place. Uh, this is the most secure place in my house. So I hide underneath the stairs. I become Harry Potter for a moment while oh uh, a tornado is around. And so I got all the animals. I did have enough time to grab all the animals. They were actually already in there. Um, I had put Charlie in there just because he's, he, he'll be fine. You know, he's just like, hey, hanging out underneath the stairs, whatever. <laughs> um, so Charlie was already there. I see the tornado, grab the cats, oh rush in there. Oh my gosh. And uh, everyone was safe and fine. Uh, I turned up the TV super loud so that I could listen to what was going on. I had my phone with me, obviously. I was texting my, my family. And uh, then it after it passed, um, uh, everything was fine. Everything was fine for me. So. Wow. It was it was pretty crazy. It was insane. <laughs> Holy cow. So yeah. Yeah, yeah. No, that was that was some serious stuff uh that happened in Dallas over over the last week. I kind of forgot about it. Uh to be, to be honest, uh, when you were talking, no. like, what happened this last week? I don't know. <laughs> oh, yeah, a tornado came oh, I just by. Saw seven tornadoes uh, right <laughs> yeah. outside my window. That's no big special. deal. You know, it's just That's normal Dallas, you know, oh fall. Oh, my gosh. It's fine. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Well, well should we just yes, I know. <laughs> we'll jump again. into jump into the show. Uh, okay, so uh, last night Anchor had a big press event where they were showing uh, some of the things that we'll be seeing at CES. 20, I can't believe CES twenty twenty, um, and they introduced a, a lot of things that. I think the companies care about more than the people. You know, like external battery charging packs now in fabric. In leather, what? in your favorite color, um, and then and then they introduced a 4K projector. But they're working with steel case uh, with an interesting product aimed, I think, mainly at business. But this is it. Interesting. 
Okay, so we can see all the various companies that Anchor has. They have their Soundcore and they have Eufy, but they have something they're doing with Steelcase, and Bo is here, and Bo is going to tell us the connection between Anchor and Steelcase. Thanks, yeah. Uh, Steelcase and Anchor are working together on a product called Flex Mobile Power. This is a product designed to solve for the issue we saw in our customers, where users wanted to go work somewhere in the office, and there wasn't power there. Think about the last time you were at an airport, right? You sat where the outlets were. We wanted to give our users the freedom to work wherever they want to. So if you imagine being a user in an office and you want to go somewhere away from your desk, this is designed to support you and a team of two other people all day long. It's a large, high-capacity lithium-ion battery, over 200 watt hours, and it's leveraging Anchor's internal technology to make sure that all the devices plugged into it stay charged all day long. Now, Bo, over here I see a rack of them, like a shopping cart. Right. Can we walk over there and see what that is? So this is a part of our Flex collection, and this product is designed to charge 10 mobile power units simultaneously, and then you just sit on there and charge. The really cool thing about the cart is that you can imagine in a, in a space where you want to store these for the night. You want to keep them locked away, but in the morning you want them to be all charged up. The entire cart charges in eight hours. So, so there's one plug? One cord out. And how many units can fit on that? 10 cart, or 10, 10 units, 10 units. So that'll support 30 users. <laughs> it's a massive amount of power designed for users that want mobility, choice and control, and it's got anchor inside so you know it's good. Now, is this card actually for sale? And is it sold with all of these units or do you buy the card and then add the amount of units you want? Yeah, so it's, it's sold as an entire package. So you can either buy a standalone tray with five units or the cart with 10 units and two trays. Either one, they'll be for sale starting in December. Now give me an idea of what one unit cost and then what this supermarket array cost. Absolutely, so a customer would pay roughly just under $500 per unit, and that, that price includes the tray too, right? We kind of give the tray away for free when you're buying that. The cart fully kitted out is roughly $7,000 to the customer. So if you compare $7,000 to running power outlets to a new space, it's a completely new value proposition for our customers and, and they've been very excited about it. No, I, it's really a great idea. Bo, thank you so much. I'm now gonna roam around pushing this selling power. Get your power. power Get your here. power. Power. <laughs> That's incredible. That, uh... I actually feel like that would be super useful. I've worked at places that don't have outlets everywhere. The the Twit uh, Cottage it comes to mind where there was just not enough power. And nowadays, almost every laptop is like USB-C powered. So really all you need is that type of battery. Yeah, it's heavy on USB-C power. And he was saying, uh, although when you think about it, that card itself is expensive because he said the units were $500. Yeah. The card takes 10 of them, but the card is $7,000. Um, also, if you buy five units, you get a tray for free. Uh, so, so the tray... I guess you could walk around with the tray uh, and and for people to like pick up the power. Would you like yes, power? Yes, exactly. Power? 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 Would you here? like power? power Anybody here? power? Uh, but one of those things is power for a day for three people, even if they're running laptops. Yeah. So that is a lot of power. And then, it as, reminds as, me of a Tesla. It's like it takes eight hours to charge. Like that's like my car. I mean, it has so much power built in. That's insane. Yeah, it was pretty interesting. And yeah. also, <laughs> um, I had my little, my mini mic. And someone in the chat room said, oh, what a cute mic. Uh, and I, I had no one shooting the video. So that was the first time that I was <laughs> holding the mic, shooting, the, holding the camera, shooting the video. So if it was a little wonky here and there, but in general. Hey, at least he we was had a, video. Yeah, He was in the picture most of the time. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so that's coming in December. I think that is such an... Uh, it's obviously crazy expensive 
none of us would buy it, I doubt. Yeah. Um, you know, we yeah. just buy a normal 200, you know, or 20,000 milliamp hour battery if we wanted to go crazy. Um, but well, he was a- saying you, 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 you have a new office in an old building and you want everybody to suddenly start working. So instead of trying to wire outlets at every desk, you charge this thing at night. Yeah. And in the morning, put one of these on everybody's desk yeah. and they have Makes power. Sense. So it, it, I mean, it, it's, 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 it's perfectly solution designed just, for that yeah. situation because – uh, if you're running a business, you don't want to have you want everything to be elegant, integrated, and there, and you want to buy it all at once. Um, and I could, I, 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 my business mind is thinking, how much would it cost to run power to every place that we want it? Seven thousand dollars? Like that's now the budget. Like, do you think I could pull that off for seven thousand dollars? Maybe, possibly. But also, if you're if you're you know a big tech company, you probably have cash to burn. You're just also, saying, you know, if you're going, even if you're going somewhere in the car, <laughs> put, yeah. one, put one of these in the back seat or wherever you go, take one to the beach and uh, everybody has power for uh, at least three people do and lots of power. Yeah. 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 I like it. It's, it's, it's yeah, cool. Pretty neat. Crazy expensive. I would never buy it, but I still, I still like it. Yeah. Well, the $500 one, that's, yeah. that's child's play. <laughs> Right. Uh, but we're we're past being a child, so we're not buying them. <laughs> but we're, speaking of child, of a child, <laughs> our next gadget fits right in with uh, our, our young minds. And here it is. Welcome to Disco Dicks. Three years ago, about this time of the year, Chad found the Disco <laughs> Bulb <laughs> at Spirit of Halloween. Just put it in the lamp and it was instant disco. Uh, he paid twenty dollars. I went the day after Halloween, got it for ten. Then the chat room found it for five. Then I found what probably didn't show the double disco bowl. Just screw it in a lamp, and it's instant disco tech. And then recently, there's a disco in New York City called the Monster. Actually, it's a it's a gay bar, but they have a disco in the basement that they use a couple times a week. And they relit it. And since it has a low ceiling, they started projecting things on the floor. And it looked great. And I thought, can I do that at Disneyland? Ta-da! Meet Party Light. All right. I'll show you that. I'll show you on the screen in a minute. So this is Party Light. I'm just going to bend down here and turn it on. And so you mount this. Has a little mounting bracket. I, I took it out of the mounting bracket so you could see it better. Wow. Actually, I'm going to shut this light off, which this will make this a little bit better. Now, we still have a fair amount of light in here, but I think this is really neat. Uh, it has a microphone built in, so it can boom, play boom, to the boom, music stoom, stoom, stoom. if you want. Yes, exactly. It has a little remote control. Ooh, it's just doing colors now, so you can change the background color. And you can just have a plain color if you want. Oh, this is really great. And I right, said, so chat room, start guessing the prices. Oh, oh Chad, what do you think this costs? Uh, I twenty bucks. Uh, right, if I'll you're saying this, it seems like it's going to be cheap. For another second. So I feel like Why you that. Focus your eyes. I feel like it should be like forty-five. Oh, okay, you're, you're pretty good. Facing back here while I talk. And let's go to the computer screen. Sharon says 30. So, a little more. According to Amazon, it's the Party Light DJ, DJ Disco Light RGB 3 lens 36 pattern projector. Go Light mini LED strobe sound system advanced activated stage. Yeah, okay. I, I went too low because I thought, thought it was 3999. But yeah, that makes sense. Uh, I don't think it's really reasonable. laser. No, it says a mini LED. Oh, but it's still very bright, so don't look into it. And it comes with this little remote control. I'll just turn it on again so you can actually see what the unit looks like. That's the remote control. And this is the size of the unit. Okay, and it's called Party Light. Very bright. Uh, da Oh, tiny, 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 tiny little. <laughs> it's a tiny disco. Um, that's it. Oh, I'll close my eyes. This is Dick D. Bartolo. 
<laughs> the Gizwiz at Disneyland Disco. Bye. I think that is awesome. I love that it has like three different elements. It has. What I do for my craft. <laughs> it has like a LED projector that just does a color wash. And then it looks like it has a green laser like pattern and then a red laser like pattern. Exactly. And you can get a version uh, $10 cheaper if you leave out the bright. Th there's a light in there that changes the background color. Right. So you can, you can project on your floor or you can project everything on a color. And I figured for $10, I, like <laughs> I want that. more things to yeah. play with. So uh, I would assume so I, that's the LED. That's it. Yeah. Is, it, is it a laser? It has like the symbol down there. It looks like it. You know, you know, it does. Ha I guess it is a laser. Yeah. And then it looks like it has two. If it is a laser, it has two of them. Um, yeah. It, ha it has a red, a red and a green laser. And then the big round one is the spotlight that changes the, the color of the background. That. I love that. Oh, it does say laser on the remote control. That's yeah, and, cool. and so there is the laser warning on it. So do not look. Yeah, don't look at uh, it. In, into this thing. No self LASIK surgery here, please. No, <laughs> it doesn't work out. Believe me. No, no. Uh, I love this. This is great. I think that this is uh, fantastic. It's just super great. I, I I almost part of me wants to get this for Halloween because what I've done over the past years is I've used those um, bulbs, and it just fills out the whole you know it, i stick it in it, the thing they look great they look great it adds light everywhere people who are trick-or-treating absolutely love it it looks like i've done tons of work i haven't done any work i just you know threw it into a, a normal light bulb thing and all of a sudden you got disco it's great i love it yeah yeah um, and, and and the fame the world famous name it's from Spabula. spabula Spabula, with a name like Spabula. B O O L A. Yeah. If you if it's Sabula, you know it's Kula. <laughs> it's high quality Spabula. Uh, I'll, 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 <laughs> I'll, I'll uh, give them that slogan for free. Oh, look at that. Uh, yeah, it's pretty neat. It has a built-in cooling fan and um, oh, comes with a little mounting bracket. They make all sorts of party stuff. Yeah. Oh, yeah. there it is, twenty nine ninety nine, and that's the one that doesn't have the uh, back uh, backlit spotlight. I Looks see, like I almost see. the same unit. Yeah. This is yeah. great. Spabula for your party <laughs> light yeah. needs. Just it's like Schlotsky's, the sandwich place. <laughs> Just remember. It's so Spabula. amazing. When I in the in the seventies, when I made and started uh, doing the disco houseboat. I had uh, a spinning light on the ceiling. It was uh, eight spokes of lights, uh, and it came with a controller. It was two thousand wow. dollars. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, lighting effects thirty oh, and forty years ago were through the roof. I, I, I mean, it's unbelievable. That's unbelievable. the business you should have been in. Holy yeah, moly. exactly, exactly. Gosh. Exactly. Lighting effect business. Whoa. Yeah. Um, you could have used Spabula as the name. You would have been a millionaire. <laughs> I would have gotten it first. Yeah. yeah. By the way, the chat room found the Steelcase Flex Mobile Power stuff oh my God. Um, online. It's under the Steelcase website. I guess that makes oh, sense. Oh, okay. But there it is. Obviously, they don't have the price. There's a contact a retailer button. Which means it's gonna be expensive. Yeah, oh, exactly. We yeah, ain't that, I, don't, I thought someone's gonna say they found it on Alibaba uh, for <laughs> se for seventy nine dollars. <laughs> no, no. I we, luckily, we found it so. on the official website. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. That's coming uh, in two months, December. Yeah. Um, finally, um, well, I'll show you what it is. It's kind of a fun thing. All right. So you know about masking tape and scotch tape. Well, this is fridge tape, okay? Wow. It is to tape things to your refrigerator. You know, like a quart of milk, you could quart of juice, and then you- <laughs> Strawberries. Right, so it's magnetic <laughs> yes. tape. And it's been sitting on my desk, could be for a year, because there's no refrigerator in Disneyland. 
and I could do my refrigerator in my apartment, but then I have to take all the peanut butter and jelly stains off the uh, refrigerated so door. What I'm gonna do? <laughs> first, I'm gonna open it up first. Um, but God, tell us, man, it's noisy. Little instruction sheet. It said also any magnetically attractive surface. Ah, so your credit card or land on metal, uh, and I used them to hang up a bunch of mad stuff. So I'm gonna hang up my, it was last Halloween, uh, posted a behemoth battery that would not charge. <laughs> they had a positive feeling it <clears throat> could be tamed, but everything was turning out negative, okay? So I'm gonna hang that up. And before we begin, <laughs> take a look at this. This is the actual tape, okay? Uh, right now, the best price is $93. It seems wow. a little excessive. Wow. Okay, so that's just ridiculous. I don't know who they can sucker into doing that. Um, so I went looking for new stuff. And then, of course, this is way more. One inch by 10 feet, strong adhesive, 12 bucks. Twelve ninety nine. And the free tape measure. Also, ah. to tell you the truth... Unless this thing is really blown up a lot, this looks way better <laughs> than my stuff. But we'll find out. All right, so we have to just get to the beginning of this. Here. So the idea is get one side roll. is sticky, one side is magnetic, mm -hmm. right? Okay. Uh, yes. And pull it okay. out. You know what? I should wait. Let me just pull but, this a little bit and then tear this off. All right. All right. So now, and it's okay. very hard to get. And and I'll tell you after I do it, work at all. The well. difference of what so we're gonna... I I find online now. <clears throat> I was wondering if it was gonna cut. It, it looks also very... says watch fingers because the cutting, the cutter is extremely sharp. All right, so now this will go on the back of this. And then... Now, I was trying to peel it. Ridiculous. And now... You don't I, have to peel it. It's magnetic. Oh, you're absolutely right. What am I thinking? <laughs> Thank you, Dennis. Oh, if, in that case, I love this. What am I saying? Yeah. In that case, I am liking this a lot. I'm not liking this cutter. This is really... Okay. It looks like electrical that, tape. You think that's It enough? does. You know, I'm going to put one more. Oh, I think it's plenty. You think it's plenty? Okay. All right, so we're going to go over to the door. And... Da, 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 da. I belittled this tape, but maybe I was mistaken. Oh, wait a minute. You know what? There it goes. I like this. See, everything else, I, I have magnets everywhere holding everything up. But I kept thinking, thank goodness Dennis realized that. I would have still been here peeling it. It would have been a five-hour <laughs> video. Um, so I, I like this. All you do is put it on the back, stick it up. That brand, obviously, uh, $93. They're out of their minds. Uh, but that roll for 13 bucks for 10 feet of it, I think it's great. And I'm going to buy the new stuff and start hanging stuff uh, magnetically. I like it. Dick D. Bart oh, my. <laughs> my watch is magnetic. Bye. I think you scared, you scared Dennis there. <laughs> I did. <laughs> uh, that is awesome. So it's, it's it looks but like... But you know it, what? I agree. The stuff the online... You actually do have to peel something off. Yeah. I'm so I think the reason this is hard to peel off is because the the other people are putting uh, a peel off layer right on it. And this company, it's I think it's magnetically sticking to itself. Yeah. And, and then and, on top so, of the adhesive. Yes. And, and so as you pull it out, you're sort of, I guess, working against the magnet. I don't know. Uh, but. I wonder if anybody would ever pay $93. <laughs> it's, it's, no. How could that be? How could that no. be? It's just, yeah, you would, 
<laughs> get it oh, printed. Oh, it'd be a hundred. For yeah. you, it'd be a hundred, a uh, hundred dollars. That's shipping. Cents. You couldn't <clears throat> estimate a tax. Yeah, look at that. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Uh, I do love the idea, though. I think this is really cool. Either you can stick it, like I didn't even think uh, until I just saw this image of putting it on the wall and then sticking magnetic oh, things oh to it. Oh, my gosh, yes. Um, but, of course, you could stick it to a poster board or anything like that and then stick yeah. that to something magnetic. Um, and, you I know, it's it. interesting. If you are if you want to buy this, uh, a, a half inch by 10 foot roll is like $10 and a one inch by 10 foot roll is $13. But if you look at the one inch roll, you'll see that it's scored down the middle. Oh, you, it doesn't show in that picture, oh. but it seems like they themselves <laughs> use the one inch roll. See it? Yes. See? Yes. It looks like they make it in one inch and then cut it in half. Oh, that's so funny. Uh, to sell to people who want, want the half inch. So if you don't mind cutting it, if, if buy the one inch roll and then you can have half inch and one inch uh, whenever you want it. That that's so a, funny. you know, uh, that's a, that is a great idea. Yeah. Keep some of your metal have, stuff up on the wall. Yes. Nail clippers. That's great. Yeah. I love this it. Is, this is, this is a really great. cool new product that I had never, I didn't even realize that. I need it. It's good. No, good the to know. same with me. The <laughs> same with me. Yeah. I kept thinking it's only for refrigerators, and then, and then when it said any ma magnetic surface, and I thought, well, of course. Why didn't I think of that? <laughs> Magnets. The, how do they work? Yeah. Suddenly, I'm attracted to it. <laughs> nice. With that, I think it is time to move for to Chad's. Oh, crappy. You don't need it, but you might want it at Chad's Crappy Corner. Get it. Okie dokie. I don't know if this is going to be a good what the heck is it. Uh, but let, let's, let's test you quickly. What do you think this is? Shoes, uh, rubbers, when it's raining to protect your shoes. You got it. Yeah, I thought so. Oh, I did. I, oh, okay. Yeah, that's it. You got it. So these are silicone covers that will cover up your shoes whenever you want them to be safe. Um, and I just kind of got them just because they looked just so ridiculous. I mean, who would, who would go through the work of sliding on this extra silicone <laughs> thing over your shoes in order to keep them fresh looking if it was raining or if you're going to, you know, you didn't have another pair of shoes, you're going to do something out in the wilderness where it might be raining or gardening with some well, wet well, you, stuff. Can you use them lots of times, do you think? Yes. Yeah, so these are reusable, definitely. I went ahead, I did record a video because I wanted oh, to see, I wanted to really put them on. Really, that's where I thought that the big rub was going to be is these don't look easy to slip over your shoe. So I recorded a video of me testing these guys out. So let's take a look at that video. Hey Diggy, so here we are with another Alibaba gadget and today we are taking a look at these. I don't even know what you would call them. Uh, I can't really remember what they're called on the Alibaba page, but obviously they're for feet and we have this kind of weird setup here kind of demonstrate them. <laughs> These are silicon co covers for your shoes. So you put your entire foot, including your shoe, inside of this, and it will keep your brand new sneakers or whatever you're trying to keep fresh and new, all safe while, you know, whatever water is, is hitting it. So the first step is to actually put it on. Is that the tornado in the background? <laughs> there, here it comes. Which I assume I assume that was going to be a lot more difficult to do than it is. It's actually a lot easier than I expected. What what size are your uh, sneakers? Nine and a half, okay. ten. Okay, ten. There's, okay. <laughs> this, uh, okay, it's really packed a little bit tight, but other than that, it's actually easier to get your foot through than, than uh, I would have guessed. So now... Stylish. 
but protected inside <laughs> of some silicone so I can splash around in puddles. Sorry about the get them wind. a little bit wet. Obviously, there's still a hole at the top. If I'm doing some work in the garden and accidentally spray my feet. No big deal. Okay, now let's stop wasting water. And uh, to be honest, <laughs> that works a little bit better than I would have expected. And then to pull it off. They also just don't look quite as goofy as I expected them to be. There we go. I got some new shoes. I still have new shoes, basically. And then this can be dried and used again. That actually works out better than I would have expected. So there you I go. Th I like I like these. Yeah. I, I mean, I thought, if, you go, if you're going to a party or something <laughs> and yeah. you want to protect your sneakers or your shoes. Yeah. Or if you're you a could, shoe, like, like I know people who are guys who are really into tennis shoes. Like they love their tennis shoes. Um, they collect them like, you know, any, anything, any type of, you know, expensive garment. Um, but they stress over, you know, if it starts to rain that day or whatever, I could see keeping these around. And if it rains and you want to make sure your shoes are protected, um, throw your shoes into these. I, I thought I would be tearing these apart. Like, I really thought that these were goofy, like goofy, goofy. Your feet were going to look goofy in them. They're going to get hard to get on. And I got to say, they're, they, they have enough stretch that it's really not that difficult to stretch them out and fit your foot around them. Um, they don't look nearly as goofy as I thought they would. No. And they're and, very effective and very reusable, too. And, so, and what do they cost? Uh, I bought mine for five dollars and twenty sorry, seventy-nine cents. Five dollars and seventy-nine cents. And they range on whichever type you decide to get. Mine are medium, so I have the white medium. Uh, version. They also come a size larger or a size smaller. So small, medium, and large. Uh, you may have to change the color. I would suggest white because it's basically translucent. Um, I would see, I could see blue, green, um, basically, I guess just blue and green looking a little goofy. Black yeah. would probably just blend in, but any of the others, I don't know. Obviously, this is an Alibaba gadget, so there's going to be lots of competitors like you can just look around there's tons and tons and a nose you could buy a nose dispenser <laughs> if you wanted uh but yeah there's lots of competitors so if you find some you know two dollar versions or whatever uh those i bet will all be just about the same and yeah. just to uh, to totally uh cover everything they do have a little bit of grippiness on the end which i didn't explain but it's there and uh, oh, that's good too. It's sort of doubled, and and you get a track down the center where it folds. Um, but yeah, so these are, these are the medium size. You can see the medium size. Yeah. There. No, there I like go. them. Yeah, I'm, I was way more impressed than I expected uh, to be. So there you go. That is our last Alibaba gadget. I'm so sad because actually I still have. Well, two wait more. a minute. Oh, Next wait. week is only the thirty first. Oh, good. Never mind. We got. I actually have two more gadgets, so that's oh. great. We might do a gadget double feature to uh, round out Alibaba, AliExpress month. Um, yeah, so some people are finding them for like as little as 71 cents. Is that correct? What? Let me see. Uh, Bleak found them for 348. But you have your other chat room is. No, this was, uh, that's what Bleak showed. You have to dial it in perfectly. If you get the white color from the United States in small size, you'll get them for 71 cents. If you get oh them my. in medium size, it's $1.20, and in large size, it's $2. From China, they seem to be more expensive all around. Um, that's, that's crazy. So, so yes, there are still deals out there, if you wow. want to search for this specific one, waterproof shoe covers, cycling rain reusable over shoes, silicone latex, elast, 
ick shoe covers. Anyway, you, you get it. You can Google that. <laughs> you know that good one. The list price is a yes. dollar nine. <laughs> Yep, and it says, and you get thirty percent off. off. Yeah, dollar <laughs> nine. Only peasants pay that. You, my friend, seventy nine, seventy one cents. Seventy one. Oh my gosh. So there you go. Uh, we got we got still one more week. I'm glad you reminded me of that. One more week of Alibaba gadgets. Yeah. With that, let's move on to Dick's Gadget Warehouse. <laughs> They're geeky and they're goofy, together they are loopy, when gadgets pass away, he takes them out to play, in this gadget warehouse. Mark on. Uh, our email is from Steve T, who says, I have a great Halloween gadget from long ago, and it's pretty interesting, I never saw this gadget so let's take a look. Here it is. Hey, Dick and Chad. This is Ooh. Steve from Minnesota. Spooky. I wanted to share one of my favorite Halloween decorations, my Grim Reaper. I purchased this about 20 years ago from Target. It runs on three C-cell batteries. We'll give you a quick demonstration here. Happy Halloween. Isn't that great? I am the Grim Reaper. I'll get you. <laughs> Happy Halloween. <laughs> <laughs> I am the Grim Reaper. Don't be afraid. <laughs> Why not? He's a very jolly guy. I'm not sure if this yeah, actually qualifies yeah, as a gadget, sure but it does have but flashing lights, so I think it counts. It counts, 100%. Oh, it's great. I love it. That is so funny. <laughs> it almost reminds me of um, the Hatchimal Wow a couple of weeks ago yeah. that <laughs> suddenly arrived. But, but this really guy, tall. I like that he's sitting and then he stands. Uh, yeah. yeah. That's great. Regatta says he rises from the dead. <laughs> I love that dog that's in the background. It's like so, he's almost like Dan. He's like, ha ha ha. Ha ha ha. <laughs> it's got like a cabbage patch dog yeah. back there. That is awesome. And that's I, an awesome gadget. Yeah. I think they had the uh, laughter leftover, the, the howling leftover from Santa Claus. <laughs> so yes. They used the same thing. Ho ho ho, it's Christmas. Ho, they just, ho, ho, I'm the Grim Reaper. They just, yeah, they changed the, yeah, the, the pitch a little bit from ho ho yeah. ho to ha 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 ha. <laughs> I'm the Grim Reaper. Steve T, that was great. Uh, you got a Mad Magazine and an uh, Alfred E. Newman picture, now 39 years old, and you'll be getting uh, Mad 10, a historic issue because it's the last uh, Mad that's all original material. Um, we have one or two. Mo has a video waiting, and I think one other. But if you have a video, send it in now so you can get the November, December issue of Mad, if we run it, we're running 90% of all of it, 99% of all the videos we get. Video, anything about a gadget, from a minute to three minutes. If it's an old gadget, we love that. If it's brand new and you like it or hate it, make a little video, just horizontal, and just make sure we can hear you, and that's it. Send, uh, Put it up on YouTube and send us the link, mail at gizwiz.tv. Mail at gizwiz.tv. If you live outside the United States, I'll sign an Alfred E. Newman uh, picture to you and send you a high-res image to print out anywhere else in the world. Mail at gizwiz.tv. With that, let's move on to the letter. Uh, a letter from Mo, one of our most frequent contributors. And Mo said, here's a solution to the problem you guys were talking about, the problem of Amazon leaving packages on the porch or the stoop or just out in the open. The answer is package security. And Mo found two gadgets. Here's one of them. 
This is for small and medium packages. It fits on the side of your house. It's, it says installs in two minutes. I'm not sure how that happens. <laughs> If you have super speed, yeah. I don't yes, know or if you have ma- if you have a magnetic wall, you can just yes. magnetize it and stick it to uh, the, the wall. Uh, One hundred and eighty dollars. Then he sent another link. Wow. For oh my god, this looks like a refrigerator, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, this is a pl- an appliance. <laughs> this god, has wait. battery backup. This, this is Wi-Fi. actually for getting uh, CIA <laughs> drops. Is uh, what this is for. <laughs> Whoa. This is a Wi-Fi connected, and it tells you. I guess it looks inside the box, too, and um, <laughs> it scans it. It x-rays scans it. it. Yeah, exactly. I That's can't so believe it's not, it's not prime, but it's free shipping. That must weigh a ton. Uh, yeah. I can't imagine. I, I've, no one's bought it yet. There's no Oh, reviews. no one's bought it. Oh, my gosh. Golly. That seems uh, intense. I, I, I feel like if... An Amazon deliverer came by. They wouldn't know what to do with this. They, you, you know, you're probably right. They, you're probably right. Unless there's an electric eye that says, are you an Amazon delivery person? <laughs> Amazon I employee? I will open my door. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's, that's kind of crazy. Um, oh, it has a live camera stream. This is, you could have just gotten this instead of a wise cam, you know, this is. Yeah. And go. instead of a ring door, just put on your stoop. Yeah. And, and if it's metal, you can, you can hang pictures on the side. That's crazy. I think that this is more, uh, the smaller one is more my yeah, exactly. style. Um, exactly. Oh, look, this is a 12 pack. Look at that. You get 12. Oh, oh, oh that's. <laughs> there oh, you go. Oh, we'll, we can all get them. <laughs> Well, wow, what does that come to? What is that? That's like ten, eleven dollars a thing. Each, I like it. I like it. <laughs> no, great. I would love to get one. The problem is, the UPS would drop every any package for this building. They would throw in my yes. mailbox. You would become because, the the deliverer. You'd become the yes, mailroom just, for the entire. Exactly. I would. I would be the mailroom. Exactly. That's so funny. Just today, someone de- the FedEx delivered to the wrong house. It was totally wrong number. I was just like, this is not my address. Like, this is some other person's bat package. So I had to go walk down the street and give it to him. Yeah, the same here. Yeah. Uh, we're at 319, and I there's a big box outside. 307. I'm going, can you not see this is 319? Yeah. And- yeah. You know, like, ah, they'll figure it out. Whatever. <clears throat> that is awesome, Mo. Thanks for the tip. For the if, if this ever becomes a big problem, uh, I could see this. I see. I'm surprised that Amazon hasn't come out with like an Alexa, like just like how that was a smart package container. Do that, but with Alexa and stuff like that built in. Where if it's an Amazon delivery, because Amazon's doing their own delivery service now. I, I yes. in Dallas at least, I see Amazon trucks all the time. Oh. Um, I'm getting almost all of my Amazon packages from someone from Amazon, not from UPS or FedEx. Um, and I'm pretty positive they have a back end to tell them, hey, this is how you should deliver this product to uh, a Parma complex that has a locker system or something like that. If they came out with a product that was, they kept my packages safe inside of a lock box and only Amazon employees could scan their code and it would open for them. And then, oh, that's, that's shut. a very like, interesting thing. Yeah. Totally see that. I'm so surprised that they don't have a product like that when they have so many other products. Uh, just seems, seems like a easy solution. Thanks Mo for the letter. Perfect. I want to give a big old thank you to you guys for supporting the Gizwiz. Thank you so, so, so much for your support. I'm talking about those Patreon patrons over patreon.com slash gizwiz. Thank you guys so, so, so much. We'd like to, we'd love to take a moment out of the episode to just say thank you to you guys who support. You guys are incredible. Thank you so much. This is our Patreon page, gizwiz, uh, sorry, patreon.com slash gizwiz. That is where you can support the show. If you don't want to use Patreon, no big deal. We do have a way for you to donate via PayPal on our website, gizwiz.tv. Click on the Patreon tab, and there will be a PayPal link on that page. If you enjoy the Gizwiz, please consider giving back. Thank you so much to all of you who are so, so, so generous and already give. Thank you. 
Speaking of gizwiz.tv, that's where you can see the show live just about every Thursday, 4.30 Pacific, 7.30 Eastern Time. Next week, we will be early. We will be early by a few hours uh, so that I can do Halloween for all the trick-or-treaters that come by. Um, I believe that that is... Uh, it's going to be 4.30 New York time, 1.30 California time. Perfect. Just the next Thursday. Just next Thursday. Uh, and then I think we'll be back on schedule after that. Uh, Gizzards.tv is also where you can watch all of our old episodes. If you want to see any of the old ones and that are outside of the RSS feed, you can head on over to Gizzards.tv, see all the old episodes. There you can also subscribe on RSS iTunes or YouTube, and RSS will give you really any, any feed catcher that you want. Thanks so much for watching this episode of The Gizwiz. I think that about wraps it up for all of our episode. We'll and see they you. can play the What the Heck Is It oh, yes. before it's too late. Okay, thank you for reminding me. Um, I was like, I know. I, you could even tell when I was saying, I was like, thanks <laughs> Yes, I know. He said, I'm watching. forgetting something, I'm forgetting something, I'm forgetting something. I know something. that there's something else that I need to mention. Uh, that is what the heck is it? This, this week will probably be the last week that you can do it if you're listening to the recorded show. Yes, um, it is. So get your guesses in now. Seriously, the episode's almost over. So right when it finishes, go play what the heck is it? Gizwiz.biz. This is the gadget. This is a photo of the gadget that we are guessing what it is. It's the whole gadget, not just a piece, not just a part. That is the gadget, uh, and so get your guesses in. I'm. I, this is obvious uh, to me that um, this is a robotic conductor stick. Uh, so it'll it'll do all the conducting for the conductor, and they don't have to do it anymore. <laughs> if you think you know what this is, get a guessin' over at gizwiz.biz. There are six mad magazines for correct answers, so if you really do know what it is, get a guessin'. But if you don't know what it is, don't worry, there's double the chances, double the mad magazines for funny, clever, hilarious, and interesting answers. And if this was ever the time to do your one guess, get a guessin' now, because this is a very special episode, or, uh, <laughs> issue. Uh, issue, there you go, of Mad Magazine, so make sure you get a guess in. Dickie D will sign it and send it to you. It is awesome, so please do it. And in fact, oh, I don't have my Mad, uh, but mine came in the mail, so I have it too. I just forgot to bring it up here. Um, okay. One of my favorite things is the dust cover on it said um, Mad Magazine, not pornography, because <laughs> it was like in that paper cover thing, and it kind of looks yeah. a little sketchy. Anyway, I thought that was a very mad way to ship the uh, magazine. With that, now we're done. We will see you next week. I'll be here. <laughs>